In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the new profiler improvements available as of the release of Unity 2020.1. We've added new features such as metadata support for C Sharp Profiler API, flow event visualization in the profiler, improved profile analyzer performance, and we've also added the option to open the profiler as a standalone application. In addition to this new functionality, we've also significantly reduced the capture and opening times of memory snapshots when using the memory profiler package. All of this is now available in Unity 2020.1. Standalone Profiler App. You can now choose to open the profiler as a standalone app. To open the standalone profiler, open Windows, Analysis, Profiler, Standalone Process. By moving the profiler to a separate process outside of Unity, we have reduced the performance overhead created by the profiler window itself when profiling the editor. This comes in handy when you're trying to understand what's going on with the performance of the editor. When profiling your game or app, we recommend using the built-in profiler to connect to your app running on your target device. Profile Analyzer. The profiler gives us the ability to analyze single frame data. In Unity 2020.1, you can use this profile analyzer package to compare several frames or marker data at the same time. This is a great way to see performance over frame ranges and for understanding the impact of the changes you make to your projects. To add the Profile Analyzer to our project, we go to Window, Package Manager. In the newly opened Package Manager window, we scroll down on the left-hand side and click on Profile Analyzer. On the bottom right corner of the Package Manager window, we then click Install. Once the Profile Analyzer package is added to our project, we can open it by going back to the toolbar and select Window, Analysis, Profile Analyzer. Unity 2020.1 updates for the Profile Analyzer improve the accuracy for frame time comparison, markers, and filters. The update also improves overall performance and user experience, plus extended documentation for the API. GPU Profile Data Starting in Unity 2020.1, users can now collect GPU performance profile data by using the Sampler API. Collected data can then be accessed through the Recorder API at runtime. This data gives us insights into what happens on the GPU. Additionally, you can get the number of begin end time pairs that the GPU executed during a frame using GPU sample block count. GPU profile data is available through the sampling API for a number of platforms. Metadata support for C Sharp Profiler API. Metadata support for the C Sharp Profiler API allows you to define which parameters you want to expose in the profiler. This would be used to get more context about data in your application and give you a better understanding of what is affecting performance. When you analyze the performance, you can find your related objects in the profiler hierarchy. Flow Event Visualization for Jobs The Flow Event feature lets you see how Unity schedules jobs across threads. This shows you when code in the main thread is waiting for a job to complete in multi-threaded code. If code in the main thread is waiting on a job, it can cause your application to stall. Identifying and fixing these choke points will greatly improve your application's performance. To open this, we need to be in the Profiler window, click the dots in the upper right corner of the Timeline window, and then select Show Flow Events. If we click on one of the samples in the main thread, we can now see markers and flow lines visualizing the relationship between jobs, systems, and threads. This visualization allows us to see which jobs are responsible for the stall code running on the main thread, and from there, which code scheduled those jobs. This reduces guesswork and improves the optimization workflow as we no longer need to search for these dependencies manually. Deep Profile Support in Players In Unity 2020, the Profiler toolset has been improved to allow you to more efficiently analyze the performance of your project. We've added support in players for deep profiling and profiling managed allocation call stacks. By default, the Profiler only profiles code that contains profiler markers. This includes mono behavior start, update, or similar methods. With Deep Profile enabled, the profiler records all function calls and profiles every script. To enable Deep Profiling, go to File, Build Settings. Click on your current platform and you will see Deep Profiling support grayed out. Check off the Development Build box on the right-hand side and you should now be able to enable Deep Profiling support. Managed Allocation Call Stack Support in Players. In Unity 2019.3, we introduce call stacks for managed allocations in players. This allows us to see the C-sharp function where a GC allocation is coming from when profiling players. 
This feature is disabled by default. To enable the collection of allocation call stacks in the Profiler window, go to the Call Stacks button on the toolbar and click on the drop-down icon, then click on GC.Alloc. We now see GC.Alloc samples in both the Hierarchy view and Timeline view. In Timeline view, it is colored bright magenta. Configurable Frame Count the Profiler window has also been improved to allow a configurable frame count that lets you extend the capture window by configuring the number of frames the Profiler window shows. You can click the dots in the upper right corner of the Profiler window and then select Preferences. A new window will open up. Now go to Analysis, Profiler. Now we can move the slider to show between 300 and 2,000 frames. This allows you to capture and analyze performance over a longer period of time, giving you a better chance to find what you're looking for. We hope these new features, available from the release of Unity 2020.1, help you to optimize and improve your application by giving you the ability to see exactly how and when your application handles data. If you'd like more information on these scripting improvements, links to these features are in the description below. Thanks for watching.